This is your host, Kozar Raspel, and welcome back to Let's Play Guacamelee Gold Edition. In the last episode, we helped out everyone in Santa Lucita, except for Combo Chicken. We kind of ruined the rest of his life. And we entered the Caverna de Foya. Oh, dear. And we completed round one. We are now attempting round two. Yeah! Sorry if the commentary is not exactly 100% during this episode. I'm going to be devoting most of my attention to swatting out these plants and anything else that tries to kill me. But you know, I guess I can talk about arenas in general in video games. I actually generally love them. I love the ability to test out your skill and basically prove yourself against what the game considers to be the ultimate obstacles of your fighting capabilities. It's just kind of really rewarding in my mind to try and defeat uh, pretty much the best of the best. Yeah, that would have hurt me. Lose. Uh, there's three Caverna de Po- uh, three dungeons in this entire one. I think each one has ten rounds to it. Okay. Two birds with one stone. Ah, okay. Whoa. That's it? I thought for sure there would be something more difficult than this one. Maybe they think the conquistadors are more difficult than they actually are. Like if you accidentally use frog slam against the conquistador when it's not as... Oh, uh, weakness. Ah, oh. this one on the other hand is pretty tough because those yellow skeletons will get you as soon as you fall down. But now I can focus completely on them. Pile driver, uppercut. That's one problem. I hate it when there are plants of the different dimensions, because that attack is just so hard to miss on its own. And you can't do anything when it's a spike. say that? Oh, of course. Dashing trip here. Oh. Yeah! like that, do you? And I win. Get another stamina piece. And another heart chunk. Alright. I hear a rumbling in the distance, meaning that there's only one left to go. Let's do this. With only one true arena left in this area, I will have to give it my absolute all. Although I must say that 
completing the Steam Trophy that tells you to beat the whole thing in a skeleton outfit, which is basically the outfit that means you can't take a... I think you just can't heal in that outfit at all. That one's difficult. Uh, just gotta get, get my bearings together before... Oh, here we go! Starting off with one of these guys with a multi-hit shield. One. Oh yeah. That's right. Come on, yellows, leave me alone. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. No. Hello guys. I don't know why I didn't just pile drive the boat with you. Yeah, beat this one up. Then go through this one. Yeah! Okay, so Frog Slam does help against this. Could have sworn it was more difficult than that. Oh yeah, this one. Chubacabras in a small room. Take them out immediately or you're going to be facing a world of pain. Oh, and introducing what I call God Hands. I don't know what the game calls them. But yeah, they can basically create lightning. You want to pile drive the heck out of them. Uh, there's going to be more up to come, I'll tell you what. Yeah, much easier when you got uh, no yellow skeletons hitting you, letting my stamina recharge before. And of course, I'm getting bombarded with freaking text from Mata Chalin, who I offered. Uh, to help with this game, and he messages me at the most inconvenient time. I'm not even sure if uh, my Procaster did that, but that blocked part of that battle. Wow. I got so frustrated there. <laughs> I mean, come on, who messaged? Uh, I tell people, I try to make a Let's Play. This is how it happens. Luckily I still have my bearings together. Catching Derp Derp, Frog Slam, all my catbook. Oh no 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 no. This is the one that always gives me trouble. Basically, they don't appear one after another. You just gotta kill them before three of them appear because that will just be a living nightmare for you. Yeah, and you had a yellow shield, didn't you? Oh, that's always a problem. I think this is the last one, though. I got a dashing dirt dirt. Yes. And with that, we get the next piece of Chuck Moore. Ah, the next piece of the mask. That makes two out of six. And those are a pain in the butt to get.
luckily we are completely done with this area now. I believe uh, we should check out the cat, the Sierra next, shall we? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> to be honest, I can't believe I did it all on my first try. Ah, it feels just like the last time I played this. Alright. Yeah, we completed Santa Luchita. We completed just about everywhere. The only thing we have to do now... is... well, go to the Sierra, yeah. I'm mostly running through it in my head, making a checklist off as we go of what I can complete and what I should complete. And while I can do a lot of stuff in Forest Del Chivo, there's still one ability I don't have, and I'd really like to get it before continuing. I love the snow effects in the dead world, and if you if you switch it to the living world, it's all it it flows down. Come on. Oh, hello there. I admire your fighting spirit, Luchador. Not win in the f in the face of such power. Do not follow me any further. If you do, these mountains will be the end of you. I just stay and fight, wimp, coward. How did he get across this? The same way I will. Up. Secret area up top. Junk. I believe this is an arena? Yep. Oh darn it, I didn't actually grapple. How about you throw me something I can use? Touching those guys is a terrible, terrible idea. Mostly because they're prickly, prickly cactuses. Pulling down skeletons, they make clacking noises. Duh. I do wonder why there's one plant guy down here. Think you should rub back up, plant dude. Oh wait, was that what the red guys were? Oh, my bad. <laughs> I didn't even notice him, and he didn't notice me. Can't do anything here yet. We're close to that, though. We need the final ability in the game to do anything about it. Bam! Chubacabras. Yeah! Don't like it when I smash you, do you? To be honest, I wouldn't like if someone grabbed me if I could fly and smash me to the ground. That would be, well, quite rude. 
You know, I wonder if he... I actually am feeling cold at all. Wait, before that... Abilities. We have enough money to get a lot of stuff. How about stamina? Delay... And there. Now we have all the stam... Now we have all the stamina stuff, so I'll be getting stamina back faster. Like, it will take less time to get it back, and I'll get it back even faster. Yes. Switch, switch. Like I said, all run doesn't make this game any easier. Oh no! Oh, yes. Oh. Those jumps... It's, it's basically the, uh, the... That was one of those jumps that... Uh, people... That gamers have when they're just on their seat like, Come on! Make it! Make it! You're on the edge of your seat just going, Oh, I hope I do it! Oh, and this part's so fun. What is that? That would have been so cool if I could have actually hit them. Oh, thought I got that. Yeah, I'm actually hoping I can just avoid the chupacabras. Oh my gosh, I don't want to deal with them right now. Bother me now. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me now. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a battle. Oop. Multiple barriers on a bomb. Mean. You're a mean game. I believe that will also be interrupted by a bomb here as well. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll get over there, guys, in a second. Uh. Leave me alone, I'm trying to do something, bomb. Yay! Ah. Oh no! Oh, there we go. Oh, darn it. I can do this! Here is your final power. Grab onto a wall while holding Y and right or left to goat fly. Goat fly! You've done well, Luchador. Yep, just like this. We can fly anywhere we want now. As long as it's in the straightforward direction. And it's extremely exploitable and fast. So now that we've gotten this ability, I think we're going to end things off here. Next time on Let's Play Guacamelee Gold Edition, we're going to be heading deeper into the Sierra and trying to find Jaguar Javier. Until then, this has been your host, Cosa Raspel, signing out.